Alrighty. Today I would like to do a quick walkthrough to show this brilliant tool to create PowerPoint presentations with Python. In case anyone is unaware of it, and it is very user friendly once you get familiar. In this little walkthrough, I will quickly show the code and the end result presentation. And then we'll go a little bit deeper and I'll share some of the quirks I came across when learning to use it and a bit more step by step. Side note, my skills in designing visually pleasing PowerPoint presentations are severely lacking. I will never work as a visual UI designer type, so don't worry. My code is not object orientated or pretty, but it does work. Any updates will be in the comments section. I will pin it at the top. Okay, let's check out what we can do with this. So here I have a Python script where the first half of the script, I get data from some JSON files about five of my YouTube videos. How many likes, views, number of comments, that sort of thing. We're making a presentation of YouTube analytics. So I'm getting the data I want and putting that into lists. I printed the lists into the console so you can see what the data looks like that is going into the slides. The second half is the creation of the PowerPoint presentation with a title slide, three slides with charts and a closing slide. Now our presentation is ready. And this is the resulting presentation. The title slide, the three charts complete with the data inserted into them. How awesome and efficient is that? Okay, so that was the quick TLDR of using Python to create a PowerPoint presentation with PPTX. Now let's do a bit of a slower walkthrough, shall we? Okay, first up, we install Python PPTX with pip install. So pip install Python hyphen PPTX. If you don't know about pip install, I suggest you do some Googling and that this may be a little bit beyond you at this point, but do come back to it. And then we've got the dependencies that we import the script. There is a note there to have import collections.abc at the top. Then we import presentation and then Category chart data, Excel chart type and inches are used in the slides, the charts in our slides. Okay, so here's the, the script. This is the uh, first half of creating our PowerPoint presentation. So here we create our presentation. And then this part here is us creating our slides. So you can see it, we're adding slides and each slide has its own variable. Now this is the first slide, so this is the title slide. You see here it's slide and slide. So this is our first slide, title slide. We've created the slide and the, the placeholder, and then we insert the text here that gets fed into the slide itself. So it's essentially broken down into create the presentation itself, create the slide objects, and then fill the slides up with your data. And this is the bar chart that we filled. You've got your data, you've got your categories. So this is the video title in this scenario. So this is a list of video titles that we've fed in as the categories. And then we're gonna add series. And the data we've added to this is the views, our list of views. The chart title is video views. So add series takes in the chart title and the data. Inches refers to the position of the chart on the slide. So you adjust these numbers to position it on the chart how you like. So whether you want the whole slide to be taken up with the chart or just half of it, you know, this is, this is, that's your positioning functionality. And then column clustered is the type of chart we have inserted. And also note here, this is slide three. So this ties back into the slide objects we created earlier at the top of the script. And then the last text slide here, again, so this is slide four. You see how these tie in? So we're gonna, this is the data to go into that slide four that we created earlier. And that's the text that go into there. And then the last step is to save. So what you'd like to save the presentation as. So just to recap, we created the presentation we created the slides themselves. The next part, I'm going to cover what these numbers mean. You see that these are a little bit different. And then we created the content that goes inside of each slide, the data that we insert into the slides themselves. Then we export the presentation and save it. Now, going back to these, these numbers. On this screen, we have the same code. So you see here, what I wanted to show you is that these numbers here, these slide layouts, refer to 
the slide layouts that you find in PowerPoint itself. Let me just change colors. These are the slide layouts. So when you're talking here, this number here, this refers to which of these nine slide styles you are choosing. So our first one here is a zero, which as we know is, is the first one in programming world. And we have chosen this title slide. And the first slide we have is our title slide, which says Coding Zoe YouTube Analytics Report, 8th of April, 2022. So for that, we use the title slide. And then in a similar fashion, the next slide along, we've put in a six here. This is number six. So when we go across to PowerPoint, we can see it is a blank slide because I just wanted a slide to insert the chart into without any text or anything else for this particular little project. So I've chosen for those three slides that contain the charts in them, they have slide layouts number six. And then the last layout, the last slide has the layout zero because again, we only had some text, two lines of text in that last slide and that was all I needed. So when they're talking slide layouts for these numbers, this is what it's referring to is these ones. It took me way too long to work that out, but yes. And then, oops, I was so excited I smacked the microphone. And then your data feeds into those placeholders that are already built in there, like the title slide, like the subtitle bit. So you want to choose your style first of what you're going to put in there. And then you feed it into what's already within that style. I just, I just want to point that out because yeah, it took me a long time, a really long time. I wasn't that familiar with PowerPoint beforehand. Another thing that took me quite a while to sort out, I kept getting this error. And after reading 20,000 different search results, I came across one that said that with Python 3.10, there was a bit of a quirk with compatibility. And this is the workaround to import collections.abc before presentation. I now cannot find where I got that information from, but the workaround results in the script working. So I'm not arguing about it too much. It's really good to know if you have that error because it, it took me again so long. Styling, there's lots of options. Check out the docs. You can also import a presentation with this module, not just create a new one. So you can import a pre-styled template and then add slides and data to the slides that have been pre-styled. Check out the docs, but there are some good videos around about styling templates in PowerPoint, which do not relate to Python. You ideally want to access the PowerPoint template ready to go and ready to create slides and add data with Python being the last step. So there's heaps of advanced PowerPoint stuff out there that can make some amazing style, fancy slide things. I obviously would need a lot of tutorials to get something respectable because that's, that's not my thing at all. Python PPTX to automate your PowerPoint presentations is great for frequent reporting. Like if you do monthly or weekly reports or if you just want to quickly do some data visualization before a meeting, you can skip Excel altogether. PowerPoint has so many chart options. It's quite nuts. I didn't really appreciate how advanced PowerPoint had become over the years. This is a great option. There, there are heaps of chart styles available. You can make it very pretty and you can just pump it full of data with a bit of code and not manually creating all this stuff. I hope this shallow overview is helpful. It is a great package. It just, you, there's a bit of a learning curve if you're not familiar with PowerPoint, like I wasn't familiar at all. If you get stuck, please write in the comments and I will help you out if I can. And happy PowerPointing.